And we've got so much going on. There's a few cattle grazing over there. There were two roe deer up on the arable field. There were three or four hares in this maize stubble. And over just over there, I could see a big flock of sheep. Down in the top of the uh, spruce trees, I can hear some goldcrest, Britain's smallest bird overhead. A field fair heading back to Scandinavia. There's also way up in the sky, a lot of buzzers circling. Uh, this, is a, this is a human modified landscape. There's no doubt about it. Uh, there's lots of stuff going on. The richness of the soil is holding a latent potential for productivity for farming at the same time for wildlife. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, it's a big shooting estate. I've seen lots of pheasants here and there and everywhere and red leg partridges calling, etc. So what can we do here? We can do a lot more with what we've got. The asset, and I've talked about the asset of the great British countryside. Look at the, look, look at the scrub along the side there. Of course, we could fence out some more and do some bits and pieces and the public could pay for it through new environmental schemes. Of course, we might increase the stocking rate over there on some good arable land. You know, there's so much creativity that we could do in a landscape as diverse and as rich as this here in Wiltshire. And of course, across the whole of the UK. I bang on about it. Humans and wildlife. I'm going to continue to do so.